there is a, another tool here that um, comes with the pen tool. It's called the mask feather tool right here. And I'm going to turn back on my shapes uh, paths there. And if you hover, if you have the mask pen tool selected and you hover over like this, oh, you got to click on it. You have to click on it first. You hover over and you drag. You can feather out your mask like this. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Um, well, sometimes if you have like a person that's moving their arm, if you go frame by frame, you can you'll see that they're really blurry. So I'll do show you an example of that real quick. Let's bring up some footage here. Um, where's my video? Here it is. We'll uh, go to that club club footage that I have. scale it down a little because there we go. it's gonna move to some, an area where there might be some uh, blur oh, here we go here we go now you can see his hand is really really blurry so if you try to roto out his hand you try to make a pen, your pen tool all around his hand here. I mean, how are you really gonna figure out where to get how to get this stuff? So get get everything that seems like it's in a, in in the view there. Then you can take your your mask feather tool and and feather out so it gets it gets the blur. And uh, that way, you can include the motion blur in there, so it, so it looks real. Like if you're trying to just like um, rotoscope that whole person, that whole person out, so he doesn't look like crisp when he's moving. That's gonna look fake. So that's how you use the uh, mask feather tool. You can move this uh, little point around to um, adjust your uh, feather there. Now, if you don't want the mask feather tool to feather out just at one point, you can come to another vertex point here, and it creates another uh, feather point there. So this side can come out way farther than this side. So here you go, and uh, that that works well. Well, that works well when you're trying to when when the hand is like I'll show you the look at the hand real quick you can see that this part of the hand has more feathering to it than say this part of the hand so I'll add another one here maybe added like another one there and you you fine-tune your mask tool there that way the mask feather tool is a new tool in CS6 so I uh, I'm gonna bring up this uh, Adobe help here so you can you can read about the uh, the new uh, mask feather tool so if you look at this if you need any more help figuring it out here's the link and uh, here's about the uh, mass feather tool and I'll do another tutorial on the feather tool on itself that way we can um, learn the new stuff about about uh, AECS 6 so that's it for now for this tutorial we'll head on to uh, new parts of masking in the, in the next tutorial hopefully you guys uh, can apply this to your next project have a good one and uh, stay safe.